Hello everyone. Today I want to show something a little bit different because I turned the LEGO NES into an actual working NES. So let's turn it on. There we go. So what I did is I built a Raspberry Pi into the case. As you can see here, there's a lot of cables in there. I 3D printed some Lego bricks for uh, connections. So it has four USB connections right here. It has oh, audio right there. And in the back, there's the power and two HDMI and Ethernet. It also has a working reset button. So it should turn on in any minute now. There we go. And as you can see, or won't be able to see, There we go. And if you push the button, the power button again, it'll turn off. So let's take a look what's inside exactly. Hopefully now you'll be able to see things a little bit better. So as you can see, I just put extension cords into every one of the ports on the Raspberry Pi and the USB right here. And I added some action, some extra functionality with these um, jumper cables that go right into a momentary switch and a latching switch right in the front and an LED that's right there. So for this I pretty much completely removed the interior of the LEGO NES There's not much left of it. But yeah, I managed to fit everything in there. Here's a better look at the um, plugs in the back. So I 3D printed a couple of Lego bricks with uh, holes and some text on it for HDMI 1, 2 and the power cable. And right here is the Ethernet plug. So if we turn this around, there is the audio. I wasn't able to fit it right here because of the um, HDMI cables. 
and in the front there is a, a 3D printed brick with holes for the four uh, USB plugs. Uh, if I take these out, I will fill in this gap by the way. There's some 3D printed parts that go into the switches. Which are right there. Those are held in place also by 3D printed bricks. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm quite pleased with the results and I'll see you again next time.